Welcome back, everybody, to the final episode of Cognition, episode four, The Kid. Are you ready to get this show? Previously yes. on Cognition. I'm sorry, Eric. You're gonna hate me for saying this, but I think I could have stopped Scott's death. Wait, what? And you kept this from me? Excuse me, you took the flowers from my brother's grave. Oh, I'm so... <laughs> Don't sweat it. When did your brother die? About six years ago. Scotty died three years ago. Finally, you get your ass down here. My ass was busy closing Scott's file. You are what some people call a scion. If you can see the past, is it so strange that you should start seeing the future as well? But if this piece of shit was murdered last night, done in the same way that he killed his victims, then who killed him? How the hell is Davies dead and her killer not apprehended? Sully! Ah, it's Sully! What the hell is going on? Who's doing this? And how do they know about me? I knew you'd make it here. I've been waiting for you to show up. Years. You're about to find out how alike we really are. Please, Erica. Don't disappoint me. I'm here to inform you that Ms. Smith wants you to make yourself at home here. But of course, you wouldn't have gotten in here if she didn't want it. She saw me. I can't see you anymore, but I know you're there. This one has a second name on it. Jeff Therian. Who's that? I passed out because I saw it. It was you getting killed, Max. Your brother there is going to be talking to a judge if he can't explain the situation. I feel like I'm failing. Jeff has all the money. You make sure of that. I'm calling those agents. I'll kill you before I let that happen. Jeff Therian, he's Garobius' son. This is the guy that murdered Scott? Max! Only one of us can leave this place alive. Do not rest until he's put behind bars. I'm sorry, Eric. Did you kill your brother, Miss Smith? Yes. Yes, I did. If we're going to do this, then there are some things we need to go over first. because of me because I couldn't this will end the way it began with fire blood and tears don't want to look good yeah, great graphics, huh? this place is lively I've seen worse but none as dangerous as this one will be. I'm looking forward to meeting this bastard. If he leads us to Cain. Don't count your chickens yet, Skippy. How have you kept doing this for so long? It's the only thing that still makes sense since Alice left me. Come on, you're not the new kid anymore. You know how it is. Yeah, but the thing. 
things we see. Listen, Red, I know how you feel. We were all there once. This was one of your first cases, and it's been dragging for three years. But we're gonna catch this son of a bitch. So think about this. It's not about what we see, but about what we could stop others from seeing. And that makes it all a little better. You're right. That's our job. Don't let it go to your head, huh? Reed, are we all set? Awaiting orders, sir. I, don't know why I appreciate the risk you're taking. Again, sorry. Stelios and Jetta are both inside now and expecting you, Agent. I've dealt with this guy before. You have to be extremely careful. The minute he sees you flinch, he'll put a bullet through our informant and another one through you. This guy has sold equipment to Kane to build his traps and you have one chance to get an address. Can we go over things one more time? We're short on time. You get three questions. Make them count. Mm, make them count, babe. What's Jetta's code to pass me information? She'll blink once for yes and twice for no. Be careful. If you overdo it, Stelios will get suspicious. Let's go over my cover again. Agents Arthur Rosenberg and Jeremy Snowden reported that an illegal Russian Mafia gun shipment is being dropped today. You're here to check that everything was delivered before pickup. You're the stateside contact hired and very trusted by their leader, who goes by Jack Stryker. Obviously not his actual name. Not your job. Focus on the operation at hand. We have only time for one more question, Agent Reed. Who's Jetta? We already discussed her. She's Stelios' girlfriend, a prostitute junkie who's been our eyes in these circles for a while. The only thing you need to know is that our target trusts her, and that she'll be giving you important information. We don't have any more time, Reed. You have to go in. Agent McCoy, remember, no interference. You're only there in case things go south. I don't like it one bit. Agent Reed, I will be guiding you as best I can but Jetta will be giving you information through the code we agreed to. Stelios is paranoid. He'll try to trick you, so be on your guard. And no weapons. He'll sniff you out and kill you before you have a chance to think of using it. Your goal is to get the information about Kane and leave as soon as you can. Understood? Yes, sir. And Reed, do me a favor and keep an eye on Jetta. I told her nothing bad would happen to her. Sure. Erica will soon enter a dangerous confrontation where her choices affect how other characters trust her. Well, I'm sorry. This is your kind of game. This is not my kind of game. Amita shaped like her character's face will display in the bottom corner as you make certain choices. The meter will increase or decrease depending on your choices. The more the meter lights up, the more the character likes and trusts Erica. McAdams just requested Erica to keep Jetta safe. Your response affects the relationship Erica has with him. What? You don't don't like us. They make the do the enter a choice based game now. You don't don't like us. Okay, I'm sorry. I'll do my best. I'll do my best. Thank you. Tutorial. By affirming that Erica will prioritize Jetta's safety. You strained Erica's relationship with Mick Adams. Oh, because I thought when he going red, he looked like he was going to be angry. <laughs> Your decisions often affect how characters react to Erica. Sometimes, in tense situations, your decisions can lead to fatal consequences. Yes, because Tush made us die in this few seconds in the past. Assume positions, be ready in five. Be careful, Agent Reed. Erica? I'll be careful. So when you asked me earlier windows, why I'm still doing this, <laughs> before you came along, I could have turned a blind eye to the whole thing. It gets harder to swallow every year. But I'm here today because I had to train this damn rookie. <laughs> Turns out training you is the most natural thing about this job, kiddo. 
Go take care of that lowlife. Just a is this a but is this a backstory? Yes, it's three years ago. This is before she brought a die. Reed, we've got our eyes and ears on you. Your business? We went over this one. Shit, I can't. You must be Stelios, right? I'm here about the gun shipment. Huh, the Russian doll. I thought you were blonde. I don't know what you're talking about. They sent me. Now are we getting down to business, or are you gonna keep wasting my time? Not so fast, pretty face. What's the shipment number? Shit, Reed, we don't have that. My client is gonna be really fucking unhappy when I tell him what went down here. You heard me. Shipment number. Remember, Jetta can signal you with eye movements. Be discreet, but look in her direction if you need help with any of Stelios's questions. You heard me. It's over there. <laughs> Did Jay send you? Jack Striker goes by Jay, but he might be tricking you. He has a lot of people running his stuff, and he's particularly known for letting one of his thugs give the orders. Why did he say one for yes or two for no? Shit. Um. <laughs> did Jay send you? Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Our blinkers. We got fucked up already. You know what? But yes. Jay sent me, yeah. Then you wouldn't mind if I gave him a call. Right, Jetta? Nah, I don't think she'd mind. That could get you in deep shit, Erica. On the other hand, it could distract him. Oh no. Oh shit, but I made the wrong choice. You made the wrong choice. You fucked us up! You got us killed, damn it! You wanna start over? <laughs> Sure, call him. Hey Jay, I got your girl here. <laughs> yeah, pretty hot ass. <laughs> hey, hot face, he wants to know, what's your name? Her name is Vanessa Madsen, but when she deals for him, she goes by Ariel. It's going to be one of those two. Ariel. Yeah, that's it. We're good, Jay. Pleasure doing business with you. All right, what do you want? I'm here about Kane. I need to go uh, over the facts better. I was interested. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> huh. 
did J Jack Stark Jason Right. Sure, call him. Hit a rewind, dude. Let's do that again. Hey, Jay, I got your girl here. <laughs> yeah, pretty hot ass. <laughs> hey, hot face. He wants to know what's your name. Her name is Ariel. All right, what do you want? I'm here to check the inventory on the shipment. Want to make sure everything's in order and that we don't waste my client's time. All right, one final question for you. Here's one for you I tell all my clients. You should know this one. Where do I keep my book? My left or my right drawer? Reed, there's nothing here about that one. Where do I? Neither. It's the center drawer. Yeah, she's got the smarts. Here, doll, look all you want. Done yet? One minute. Take your time. Yeah. I don't know. Oh no, take, take any names. Spanish fly. Done yet? One minute. Take your time. I can't read it. It's all gibberish. Well, about time you showed up. I don't like keeping your shit for long. It's starting to stink. I need you to ship it somewhere. I'll pay for it all. I'll pay extra. I don't usually do that shit. But you have a mean wallet. Fine, tell me where. One, two, four, six. You know what's so great about looking at your tits? What? That I can see the fucking wire you're wearing, cop bitch! Too far. <laughs> oh shit! I got you, you bitch. John, it's now or never. Nobody likes to Stelios. I got you, Reed. Reed. What? You son of a bitch, what? I saw the news. You did those last two pretty bad. My next pair is going to be even better. Who are they? Erica and Scott Reed. I'm taking the boy tonight. Come on, pick up, damn it. No, 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 I wanna see what happened. I will, I will save it. When I get a chance, I will save it and go back. Did you find my dad? He's unconscious, but he'll live. I called 911. Stay with him. I have to go. Like hell you are. I'm going with you. He said to come alone. I'm not letting you go there on your own. End of story. And call for backup! Our path was chosen long before now. Now we're just walking it until we get to the final door, and the end begins. That I can see the fucking wire you're wearing, cop! Jenna, run! 
How was that I right? That didn't this. make no sense. John, it's now or never. Nobody lies to Stelios. I got you, Reed. Reed? <laughs> what? You son of a bitch, what? I'll cut to this I saw the news. You did those last two pretty bad. My next pair is going to be even better. Who are they? Erica and Scott Reed. Why is saying this? I'm taking the boy tonight. The gun is more to me. It's literally at the edge by me. You on the other side. By the time you look to jump up, I don't grab that and shoot to you. Damn it, no. No. That's bullshit. That is bullshit. Come on, pick up, damn it. Did we see this? No. Yeah, we yeah. saw this. Oh. Wow, we got we kept the girl alive. So there's that. And you get full bar full of Mac Adams. So why why is he acting all bitch of us? Did you find my dad? He's unconscious, but he'll live. It might be Call 911. Stay with him. I have to go. Like hell you are. I'm going with you. He said to come alone. I'm not letting you go there on your own. End of story. And call for backup. Call for backup. Our path was chosen long before now. Now we're just walking it until we get to the final door and the end begins. I haven't been to the family lake house in ages, but I knew Keith would be here. I couldn't do anything to stop him from killing Erica's brother. But I can make sure he doesn't kill again. I just hope I can do this. How and if I can't sure stop him on my own, well, then I don't know what I'm going to do. with something. Maybe I can open this. I can see keys in one of the pockets. Alright, I don't see how to save this. So, there's one way to do this. Is power. No, I have to go around for that. No good. No good.
It's locked. It's locked. I need the keys. I guess we can't. So what should we do? We have to go around for that. Which, where do we go to go around? I won't go around. Probably wish to get the car key. These old floorboards get very creaky toward the center of the room. He can't know I'm here until I'm ready for him. The key to Keith's car. turning back now. Keith is here. Everything I need is here. So, there's one way to do this. No, I have... to be extra careful. These old floor... Furniture. Mom liked it that way. Keys to the house. Ah, yes. She does so I tell her keys and you can.
is locked. Some thin wire. This might do the trick. Okay, that'll hold. At least he won't be able to get away. Nothing under here. Hey, what's this? Hey, what's this? There. Oh, look at this. It must be that drug he uses to knock his victims out. I'll take a peck or two, or maybe three. Nothing under here. Keith's gun. My visions showed this ending badly. Max, I know you'll hate me for all the things I'm going to do, but I won't let anyone else suffer like we did. That'll hold. That is one option. Or I shoot him right now. No. Keith, come out of there now. Cool. Cordelia? Surprised? I figured that since I was locked up and you didn't come to visit me, I'd come to visit you. I wanted to, Cordy. I just didn't know what I would say. What you did was... Stupid. I should never have taken the blame for what you did. I felt so broken. I thought I'd protect you. And I wanted to understand... <laughs> Why? Why, Keith? Because I need to. I can't fight it. I, I just need to. That's it? You destroy our lives! You force me to kill Max, and that's all you can say? I need to? I could usually suppress or ignore it, but that night in Max's office, when I found out the truth, it changed. Suddenly, I felt cut off from you two, from everyone. There was no reason to suppress it anymore. 
I hate you. You're not the same anymore. You have to understand that this is something I can't control, Cordelia. I must kill. This is just a this is just a test. I'm going under the assumption that I am shaping a character with the decisions. And if it leads her to getting killed, well You're a monster. I'll try again. If I'm a monster, then I'm the same monster that you loved all those years ago. People like us, we can still love. Yes. And even though I never felt anything for Max like I have for you, I just couldn't control the need to kill him, to understand what made him tick. Don't you dare mention his name! You always thought he was better than me. Keith, I always preferred you. Come here, Keith. No! Now. You can reunite with them. Okay. I saw that happen. There was a person. I need on to the watch what babe. I say to him. Crick on the wall. Okay. No. Listen. I. I don't know. Keith, I always preferred you. Come here, Keith. Cordy. What are you waiting for? You did it to Max. You could do it again. Pull the trigger. Because if you don't stop me now, I'll kill again. You can't, can you? So much for the drugs. The pain of her past is not over yet. You have the to pain use has made her strong, and the past must be uncovered if the future is to become clear. Oh, man. She's not coming out. Erica? With a gun. Cordelia, I've been... I think it could have had I've the same been conversation looking for you. about with the power that... You've found me now. But this is not... This is not how it's supposed to be. Mom, get me the fuck out of here! <laughs> ah! Rose about Bao Tan. He will point the way. The choices are hers. The path is before her. And it will bring us either justice or condemnation. Dun dun. Erica, Erica, my dear, are you okay? Did you find what you were looking for? I saw Cordelia. Everything's gone to shit, Rose. I feel like I should hate Cordelia after all she's done, but I don't. The Sully, Davies, oh God, John. Is it so wrong if I say that some part of me understands her? Erica, scions have an affinity for empathy. Whatever horrors Cordelia has committed, 
you cannot help but connect to her human side, the woman she was before, the woman she could have been. Who is Baltan, Rose? Did you say Baltan? Oh, dear. I haven't heard that name in so very long. Cordelia mentioned it in my vision. I'm not sure I want to talk about this. Please, Rose. I don't know if I can trust her, but this must be important. I have to find her. I have to stop her and her brother. Rose? Sometimes I can remember the particular smell of the jungle. It was musty and salty. And yet I liked it. It was summer of 72 in Vietnam. I had come with the Catholic relief, posted in a remote village, helping those affected by the war. You were in Vietnam? A nun? Why doesn't that surprise me? No, not a nun. A volunteer. It was a hot morning. Vietnamese soldiers patrolled the area just as they would regularly. I was taking a few hours off, sitting in the plaza outside the village temple. I was watching the kids play ball and looking at a figurine a priest from the temple had given to me, all while trying to do some reading. It was so hot that I couldn't concentrate on my book. And that's when I noticed him. Bautin? Yes. There was a wretched man standing under the shadow of a tree, walking back and forth, mumbling nonsense under his breath. In those days, it was not an uncommon thing. War drives people mad. And so I thought he was just another miserable soul still looking for a lost wife or child. Those were desperate days. Sad days, my dear. What happened then? Out of nowhere, the man started screaming like a madman, scaring the children. He would run from one child to the next, raving about fires in the sky. Of course, it was not long before the soldiers took him away and threw him in a cell. Mm -hmm. People were already scared enough. They didn't need a madman to start stirring nonsense. Was it? Nonsense? I saw the man's eyes as he was being carried away. They made me very uneasy. But they took him away, and the plaza went back to normal. Hours passed. I got lost in my reading, and then a bright light came, and there was a noise, a big broom. The impact threw me against the wall of the church. I awoke under rubble and dust and blood. There was the body of a dead child next to me. She was holding a doll in her hands. And I remembered the man's word. Fire in the skies. What happened to him? Bao Tan was branded a spy. A Viet Cong. No one could have known what happened unless they were privy to that information. In the following nights, I became haunted by visions of him. And I could not stop seeing his eyes. Those tortured eyes. I requested they let me see him. It was not easy, but they allowed me to serve as a spiritual counsel to him. They were going to execute him. Yes, but not before they tortured him in order to extract information. The day I came to his cell, he would not meet my eyes. He lowered his eyes like a scared puppy. It took me days to reach him, but eventually I did. What did he tell you, Rose? He told me that he would feel things, and that this time he had seen the fire in the sky. I went to see him day after day, trying to grant some measure of peace to a hopeless man. I believe I did some good for him, that I was a friend to him when the whole world had abandoned him. When they executed him, he told me something. It's a shame to say that the exact words escaped me. I remember his eyes, his soul, and to this day, I live by our moments together. Rose. I don't understand what Cordelia wanted me to learn by this, but I need to try. Would you give me permission to look into your memories? Oh, my dear, 
I won't push you if you don't want me to, but I need to know this, Rose. I might be able to make Rose you remember Michael. exactly what he told you. Wouldn't you want Rose to remember that? Sometimes, yes. But there are some memories better left alone. I will let you, but if I say stop, please stop. I promise. Give me your memories. Ugh. Alright. You have activated. I've regression the way gosh my brain. <laughs> Don't worry, she has a perfectly good reason. That we won't share right now. You have activated your power of regression. To view the desired memory, you must rearrange parts of the memory to match what actually happened in the past. Once all memories are matched, click on the blue cognition sphere to view the memory. If the selection is incorrect, then the screen will flash red. So, it was, well, it's easy, right? It was a temple. I wonder what religion it belongs to. While in someone's memory, rearranging every possible changeable memory to match what really happened. Once, once all memories are matched, press the cognition sphere. If the selection is incorrect, the screen flash red. I don't remember this. <laughs> Rose doesn't remember what he gave her. I need to find out more about this. Okay. Oh, yeah. oh, okay, I understand what's going on. Okay. So, if we want more information, we just have to click on rules. Um, find out what book she was reading. What book were you reading, Rose? Oh, my dear. I don't remember. Okay, no, let's start from the village. The temple. Did you ever find out why he said the things he did? Yes, but I do not wish to think about that. It's too hurtful for me to think about them. Okay, we understand. What temple was that? It's a Cao Dai temple. There are a few of those in Vietnam. The kids were playing with a ball. Yes, I found that ball later and kept it. What village was this? The outskirts of Tran Bang and South Vietnam. Mm. Do you remember what the flag of the temple looked like? I can't remember, my dear. Why can't you remember your name? I'm Rose Duvalier. But when I went to Vietnam, they gave us different last names in order to protect us. So that the enemy couldn't identify your family to blackmail you? Yes, and I do not remember what that name was. Look in the top left drawer of my desk. Maybe you can find something there to aid you, my dear. Okay, cool, 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 cool. cool. That will help what did he give you, Rose? Check that shelf over there. What did you tell him, Rose? About what he could do? Isn't it obvious, my dear? Okay, 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 bye-bye. Didn't you try to stop them from executing him? I tried, 
I moved heaven and earth trying to find a way to grant him a pardon, but those were not granted easily. I could not save him. Listen, my dear, sometimes the forces of the universe are stronger than our fiercest wishes, and as much as we have to try, there comes the time when we must accept whatever path the universe has prepared for us. I did not know that then, of course. Part of what I learned from Bao Tan was how to stop believing I could change everything and instead just do what I could to comfort him while he still lived. Sometimes all we can do is simply let go. This is the shell Frost told me to check. It's a piece of a photograph. It's only a piece of a photo. Is that Rose? I don't know if you can cut the ball. Oh. And this. You need three items. That's not related. And they pick up the photo. Maybe if we find a next piece of the photo, we will. It's beautiful. This must be what Bao Tan gave Rose. Okay. Okay. It's beautiful. All right. This must be what Bao Tan gave Rose. Okay. Go into the memories. Just change it to the one not arch and up. Yeah. Prophet? Damn, there's nothing here. Oh, wait. One, two, three, four, five. It must be one of the books are not, not there. Um, this one have the, the guy in it. All of these books there. It have another book, no? No. Where can come from? It's all, I, see, I saw all of these books there. Yeah, you see all these books, but it must have one that was in there. Why are we checking the, the cupboard in here? She said uh, something about check the cupboard. One, two, three, four, five. Oh. The Prophet? Damn, there's nothing here. The Alchemy of Happiness. Wait, what's this? That might be the book. It's a piece of a picture. This is Rose in Vietnam. But I can't see the whole thing. It's been ripped.
look at her, Bailey. all smiling and young. be cool if in the first video you said she looks like mm. <laughs> she looks like a Bailey. I think Erica. Th Lisa? Is it? It didn't have anything else? No. We didn't have to do the ball. The, the flag. We had a final the flag, so uh, I'm guessing. Ah, uh, they give us a little thing here. Um, this is where the thing, and one of them is the. the one of these is the name of the village. So check this first. And oh no wait, go back. Do it again. Do it again. Listen to me while I'm doing my thing. Okay, no, I was trying to go back. Home, home, home. Search result. Okay. And this no. This one. The kids were playing with. Yes, I found. What village was this? The outskirts of Tran Bang and South Trang. Vietnam. Trang Bang. Do you remember what the flag of the temple. I can't re. Trang, it's Trang Bang and the temple. What temple was. It's a Gao Dai temple. Gao Dai. There Trang are a few Bang, of Gao those Dai. in Vietnam. I just know it was a tea in you. They just don't want to listen to me. I'm sorry. You, but this is the one you I picked. No, I said it's one of the, these two. I can't remember. Okay, okay. All right, and that's the flag there. That was the better flag, anyways. How so? What's it wrong? It's a flash red. <laughs> this is why you're the puzzle one. I just say it most of actually could I get in those days. He's studying to try and save everybody. I would have been out. Like, forget all that. I go on. No, because then it's all way on your conscience that you, you, you murder all these people when you could have tried to do something. Yeah, but I would have been it's like, a listen. It's no, a situation. Man, listen. Somebody told me something bad going to happen. It's best we leave. Yeah, okay. And that's the same reason why he get locked up. Because then he will be looked at as an informant or a spy. The spider telling only something bad going to happen. Right. Yeah, people that stupid, I ain't not going to try and save them. You can see the future. Okay. This is pattern. I know what you can do. I know you will do good by those like us. I can see it. You will be an angel among those like us. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, I'm too 
course. have failed, my dear, many times. But we must always pick ourselves up and keep on going. I couldn't save Baltan, but to this day I keep his spirit with me. You could hear him. You can... You can read minds, Rose? You're one of... us? I can see and hear people's thoughts, my dear. That must be what Cordelia wants you to know. But why? I do not know, my dear, but it is certainly something that she has foreseen, and it is undoubtedly part of a plan. So Cordelia is like Bautin. She can see the future. And just like him, she was judged for a crime she did not commit. This is a very powerful kind of scion, Erica. Also a very cursed one. Those who can see the future are plagued by their visions in ways far worse than those like you who can see the past. I tried to help Cordelia, but the events that unfolded around her came too swiftly to be stopped. Rose, but how come I could see the future? I've been thinking about that. It is true that every yin has its yang, and when you bring together scions with contrasting but complementary powers, especially a pair still learning to cope with them, uncontrollable things happen and the powers can clash. What you saw was a vision Cordelia had in the past, her vision of the future. But because it had to do with you, it triggered whenever you were close to her. So, in the parking lot at the station, and again in the hangman crime scene. But then, why didn't I see it when I met her at the cemetery? You were probably more susceptible to danger in those other occasions. But I don't have all the answers, Erica. What I do know is that this power links you to each other, which is how you connected to her past so easily at the Inthon Towers. Why were you so sure that John was in danger? He confided in me about a few things, and there were other things I read. But it was when you called me from the towers that I made the full connection. What they did to Cordelia after Max's death, it haunted John in ways you cannot imagine. Do you blame her, Rose? That is a very hard question to answer. I feel for all the scions out there, but in this short time, you have known her better than I ever did, probably better than anyone else. The question is, do you blame her? I don't know how to begin to answer that question, Rose. Let me entertain a thought here, Rose. You can read minds. And Cordelia wanted me to know this. Now, I know you keep saying your memory is fuzzy, but I need you to concentrate on what I'm about to ask you. Go on. When Cordelia was here, was there anything that you read from her thoughts? Anything special? Anything that seemed to matter to her or that could tell me where she or Cain might be? That would be a very hard thing to... Wait. Wait, wait, wait. When... Cordelia's visions would overtake her, I would ask her to focus on a place that would calm her down. And did you read her? I'm seeing it in my thoughts right now. It's a lake house. This must be where Cordelia wants me to go. But where is this? There has to be something that can guide me here. Where is this cabin? They died so young. It's just a matter of time until I put you behind bars. Or take you down myself. She looked so happy back then. Poor guy. He had no idea what was coming, and he didn't deserve it. Scorobius knows. Who is this person? Wait. It's Scorobius. He can tell me where this place is. Last I heard, they were holding him down at the station. Time to pay a visit. I think I have all I need. Thank you, Rose. Erica, wait. I have not quite told you everything. Really? I had a feeling. I live up to Baltan's last words. 
I look for scions and I help them deal with their abilities through training or whatever means necessary. I've taken it upon myself to offer scion salvation. We need to protect our kind. There is much for you to learn about what I do, what we do. But right now, you need to promise me that you will do your best to handle Cordelia. I know that you will use your best judgment with her. I don't know if right now is the best time to... This is not an invitation to join us. This is just me trusting you fully. There are others like you, others that have been watching you for some time. What? Your coming here was not an accident. Know that whatever happens, in here you will always have a home. Thank you, Rose. We part of the psychic club now, babe. Your badge and your gun, Reed. Now leave. Take a vacation. And I want you to go through counseling before even thinking of coming back. Is that clear? You finally found a way to do it. You've wanted to do this since I went against you the night that Scott died. You must be happy now. No, Reed, I'm not. But after what happened with John at the Anthon Towers, there's no other choice. You need to be off this case and away from this office. But not before I debrief you. I want to know everything that went down in there. Did you bring Scorobius in? Yes, he's in one of the interrogation cells. Leave it be, Reed. Collect your things from your desk, and I'll be out in a few minutes for the debrief. All right, I'll be waiting. So we have to do this quick. But first, I'd like to make a pit stop. Miss Reed, what a surprise. Weren't you suspended? I don't have time for your cryptic bullshit right now. I need information and you're gonna give it to me. You seem very sure about that. Okay, let's wrap him up. Keep your hands off me. Where is Cordelia? I thought you'd know the answer to that by now. What are you doing? Help! Someone help me! There's no one here right now to save your pompous ass. I need you to tell me where Keith and Cordelia are. Go to hell! The Smiths have a lake house. It must be close to here. A lake house? That describes a dozen properties they own. <sighs> Answer me! I told you I don't know! Get your goddamn hands off me! Where is Keith? I have no idea, and why should I? You're his father! Does your father know what you're doing right now? I didn't think so. Talk! Agent Reed, I, I, I don't know how much more of this I can take. He looks about to pass out.
You bastard! You were there when Keith dragged Max down! You could have stopped this! You have no proof of that! No? How do you think I know? There were cameras, remember? I'm a lawyer! You can't intimidate me with your insinuations! You not only falsify documents, but you are also an accomplice to murder! With the points you're racking up here, it's not looking good for you. Do you want to try your luck? I won't say another word until I see something in writing. Nobody is watching. Nothing is recording. I don't give a shit about you. I just want the address. Now speak! And I might just forget all about this. The lake house you are looking for is at 1246 Pleasant Brook Lane in Rock. He did mention that. Why didn't you do anything? Why didn't you try to stop him? I didn't know what Keith had in mind, what he was capable of doing. Besides, it all looked like a sibling's quarrel to me. I hadn't been a father to Keith up to then, and I wasn't about to start. You piece of shit! Agent Reed! Agent Holmberg, stop her! Me? <laughs> I don't know how that crossed it too. McAdams, you have to listen to me! I'll listen to you, all right. Ten years in jail. Being nice is not exactly gonna work here. Ten years. Sorry, Peta. What kind of shit are you getting into, Erica? We used to come here every summer when Mom and Dad were alive. Things were much simpler back then. Don't take another step. You tricked me. My visions? John! The future is a very fickle thing, Erica. What we see is sometimes only one of many possibilities. I saved us both. Had I been in the Anthon Towers with you, one of us would have ended up dead. So I left the towers before that could happen. But fate has a funny way of correcting itself. Someone still needed to be shot. You led John and me to the towers. You're responsible for what happened to him. No, Erica. You didn't do what you were supposed to. You were supposed to kill Keith when you found him. You should have used your powers on him and you would have seen it all. But you didn't, Erica. You made a sloppy mistake. The kind of mistake that cost Davies her life. That's what you wanted me to do? Kill Keith? That's what this was all about. If you wanted this to end so badly, why didn't you kill him yourself? Killing one of my brothers was enough for me, Erica. People like us are cursed. We can't lead simple lives. Don't you dare compare me to you. You're a scumbag murderer. You killed Davies. You almost killed Sully and... What makes us any different? Tell me you don't want to pull that trigger right now. Give me one damn good reason not to. Very well, take this. I found it down in the basement. Use your power on it. Do it. <gasps> That's a father. He's taken someone, but I can't see who. Me either. But we can work together to stop this, Erica. Those we can really save nice. that person together. So, what's it going to be? I don't trust you. If it helps, this might help me get closer to my goal. I want McAdams. <laughs> you really are crazy if you think I'll let you hurt anyone else. We can talk about that later. Follow me. The clock's ticking.
sa akin na. Oo, sa... We should check anytime. He was here recently. Do you smell the burning wood? Max loved that smell. He and Mom would sit by the fireplace for hours just listening to the embers crackling. Keith would watch them from the corner of his eye, pretending to be reading over on that sofa. I can see how there was something troubled in him even then, as if the world he saw wasn't the same one the rest of us lived in. You could have prevented all of this suffering and death if you had just come clean in the first place. But instead, you used me. Why, Cordelia? Why did you choose me? Because I saw you, in those visions at the towers. You were there, trying to help me when everyone else just crossed their arms and let Max die. You're a rebel, Erica. You were hurt enough by the death of your brother that you could be driven to killing Keith. It was the only way. But for that, you needed to be vulnerable. I saw it. And so you hurt everyone close to me. Manipulated my life for your needs? Ugh. We're wasting time. Let's continue this search. Right, and that is a good place to cut off. So, thank you very much for watching everyone. We will see you all in the next video.